Let's talk about Trey Lance and the San Francisco 49ers. Trey Lance finds himself in a very bad spot with the San Francisco 49ers because Brock Purdy is clearly, clearly quarterback number one for Kyle Shanahan. And it seems like him and Sam Darnold are competing for the backup spot. And the reason why I say Trey Lance finds himself in a bad spot with the San Francisco 49ers, he's a former first round pick for this team a couple drafts ago. And not only just that, they traded up a lot to go get this kid. They traded up a lot for him just to be a backup on their roster now. And now granted, you did catch lightning in a bottle with Brock Purdy who ended the season 5-0. and The only game that he lost is the game that he got knocked out in against the Philadelphia Eagles, who went on to go to the Super Bowl and lose to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the very interesting thing with that is the 49ers won one of the best teams last season in the back half of the season. Brock Purdy was that good with this 49ers team. And he does have some questions. Is he the long-term starter with this team? Well, from last season, he may be the best quarterback option on this team that gets his team to a situation of hitting that Super Bowl window that they're trying to hit before the window fully closes. What I see with Trey Lance is a quarterback that needs a lot of developing still. And the San Francisco 49ers may have missed on selecting him in the first round over guys like Mac Jones and Justin Fields. Kyle Shanahan obviously wanted to get a quarterback that could extend the play, do some things in open field, and could just cause havoc with those weapons and Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and Christian McCaffrey. At the time, they didn't have Christian McCaffrey, but now they do, and George Kittle. So when I look at it this way, man, I look at Trey Lance as a guy, go out there, compete, do the best that you can, and hopefully he can get his chance again to start with the San Francisco 49ers because he has started some games with this team. His rookie season, he had to come in and start a couple of games. When Jimmy Garoppolo went out, he played against the Texans. He played against the Cardinals. He didn't play extremely great, but he played like a rookie. He played well. He had a lot of good things that happened on the field. And the second year in, the first game against the Chicago Bears, he did look terrible. But we ain't going to act like it wasn't a tsunami on the field. And they lost against the Chicago Bears. He did miss some throws, but the weather conditions were horrible. And the second game against the Seattle Seahawks, he breaks his ankle on a running play up the middle. Then they go back to Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt. He breaks his foot. Then they go to Brock Purdy. And it seems like that may be the end of the saga with Trey Lance and this team. I just find it mind-boggling that a kid that was a first-round pick and a lot of scouts are so highly talented on is now a guy that could possibly be the third-string quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. And another thing as well, the reason why it's easier said than done and just pull the plug on Brock Purdy and insert Trey Lance because it gives you more running ability, that doesn't help a team get to the Super Bowl. And it dang sure doesn't help the San Francisco 49ers out because you have a roster that is loaded with veterans that are ready to win games now. And Trent Williams on the offensive line, one of the best offensive tackles in the game. Christian McCaffrey, the best do-it-all running back in the game. Debo Samuel. Very good wide receiver. Brandon Ayuk, another good wide receiver. George Kittle, a top receiving tight end in the NFL. That defense is phenomenal. Was the best rated defense last season. So these guys are ready to hit a Super Bowl right now. They're ready to go and just go full pedal to the metal right now. They don't have time to develop Trey Lance into that system. So maybe that's something that happens behind the scenes. Maybe the next couple years, Trey Lance can get that opportunity. But right now, Brock Purdy will be the starting quarterback with this team. Another thing that I want to talk about as well is that it was a lot of conspiracy going around with Kyle Shanahan trying to sabotage Trey Lance. What's trying to sabotage Trey Lance, the preseason opener? For one, it's one game. And for two, the offensive line did Trey Lance no favors. He was pressured 47% of the time in that pocket. So he was doing everything that he could to try to get out of harm's way. He did throw a lot of questionable passes in that game against the Las Vegas Raiders. He should have thrown two interceptions. That first touchdown pass is just wild. The safety had the ball. Then it bounced. It gets deflected. Tight end comes out of nowhere. It's a touchdown. And then in the second quarter, he throws the ball across the middle of the field. It should have been an interception. The linebacker drops the ball. So clearly he has problems seeing the field. Half of that was because of the offensive line. But this is a guy in the past that had problems seeing the field as well when he came in his rookie season against the Houston Texans and the Arizona Cardinals. In the Arizona Cardinals game, he ran the goal line and got completely blown up. That was just a rookie mistake. And he also had another question pass in that game as well across the middle of the field. And the biggest thing that Trey Lance was good at coming out of college 
and my stuff included. I gave him a lot of praise coming out of college, so I take this one on the chin. It was the fact he didn't turn the football over and how electric he looked inside and outside the pocket. Now, he was never a great pocket passer at North Dakota State. He was a guy that fit that run-heavy system, and then he could take off at any given point in time and be a distraction behind the line of scrimmage and do some things on the run. We haven't seen that in the NFL just yet. So I feel bad for Trey Lance for the simple fact that his career with the 49ers may end prematurely due to injuries. But I would not be shocked if another team did come out and say, hey, let's just take a flyer on him. We'll give you a late round pick. But at the same time, I don't know if Kyle Shanahan and the San Francisco 49ers wanted to get rid of this kid. There was reports about that in this offseason that he was up for trade discussions and Kyle Shanahan immediately shut that down. So he is still a quarterback that can sit back and develop on a roster. But right now, Brock Purdy is the best option for this team to go off and win a Super Bowl and reach another NFC Championship if they can stay healthy. But let me know in the comment section below. How you feel about Trey Lance? Is this kid already considered a bust? In my opinion, I don't know to call him a bust or just a guy of bad luck. For the simple fact, he hasn't played that much in the NFL. And when he did get his golden opportunity last season, he broke his ankle. So I'm leaning more towards the bad luck of things than I am towards a bust. But let me know about that in the comment section below. And have we seen the end of Trey Lance with the San Francisco 49ers or him being a starter? And who will be the backup with this team, Sam Darnold or Trey Lance? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, I want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.